Welcome back to MWC Digest. Now, part of the reason why this Congress is so exciting is because it's a showcase for the very best that the tech industry has to offer. It's also an opportunity for them to come together and discuss common challenges. Now, let's have a look at the headlines. Nokia's CEO, Pekka Lundmark, talks to MWC Digest about the need to drive competitiveness in the European market. A healthy debate's taken place on one of the Congress stages about the industrial metaverse. Is it an extension of what's on offer for consumers or something more ambitious? And there's a reminder about conserving water being given to the estimated 95,000 visitors here as Catalonia's drought restrictions continue. There's so much to see here on the stands of MWC, but it's not necessarily the products or the innovations that are most interesting. It's the partnerships, and it's the partnerships that are key to the success of this industry. But it's an industry not without challenges. For example, operators are still looking to make a higher return on their investment in 5G. I've been talking to Nokia's CEO, Pekka Lundmark, who gave me his take on the challenge the operators face. This is one of the key things we've been discussing throughout uh, this uh, conference, actually, in pretty much all customer meetings. This is one of the reasons why our markets actually became weaker last year, because operators have faced quite big challenges in monetizing their investments, especially in 5G. Uh, there's a lot of reasons uh, behind this. There's a lot of kind of regulatory issues, especially in Europe, where the operator market is pretty fragmented and we would like it to be consolidated so that operators would get stronger, so that they have, would have the financial muscle to invest more to create better networks. There's a direct, the direct connection from here to the competitiveness of Europe and Europe's digital infrastructure. So this is a really important thing. Then there are technical things also. In many cases, the network architecture and the network uh, as a machine is still far too complicated. It needs to be simplified, and this is what we are trying to do with the customers to, to really help them to monetize their investment better. How do you think they can turn it around? Is there anything they can do? Well, we are discussing with many customers exactly this question that how to make the network programmable. We launched last year a concept that we call Network as Code, which provides a set of APIs for application developers and tools for application developers to access and take advantage of the network resources in those applications, for example, for different industry verticals. Uh, we are looking at uh, orchestration and uh, automation of network uh, functions so that uh, the whole operation and service, new service creation uh, would become much faster, automated and easier for operators. Now, almost every stand here at MWC is showcasing partnerships. One of my favorites that I've seen today comes via this, the Humane AI pin. It's a novel computing device that's supposed to make technology work around humans. The device uses a Qualcomm chip. It was brought to market in the US via T-Mobile, and it was announced here at MWC that the manufacturers are to partner with SK Telecom in South Korea. This is just one example, but partnerships are important to everyone, including Nokia. This is a, a pretty complicated world we are in. Uh, when we look at the journey from, from uh, today's networks towards the future all the way to 6G, it's very clear that nobody can do everything alone. And we are going to need a lot of partners. We announced important partnerships last year. Red Hat, for example, for CloudStack. Here at MWC, we announced a big partnership with uh, Dell which basically has two components. One is for uh, cloud run servers, uh, and the other part is, uh, is uh, to maximize the speed of uh, private wireless. So both of these accelerations, kind of cloudification of the networks, and then adoption of private networks, we are now going to, going to focus on together with uh, Dell. We also announced a very exciting partnership with NVIDIA, where we are, are uh, taking into use some of their uh, CPUs uh, for our RAN stack. And uh, in addition to that, we are looking together with them uh, the very big question that how do we maximize the potential of artificial intelligence in the network? And just one final question. Um, earlier this week, Nokia announced a new commitment to net zero. How important is sustainability to Nokia? Oh, it's extremely important. And I often get this question that, that uh, are you doing this only for the good of the world or is this also good business? And I'm absolutely convinced that uh, this is win-win. Uh, those two goals are not mutually exclusive. 
on the actually the opposite. They support each other. As I have said many times, there is no green without digital. We need to maximize the digitalization of this world if we want to maximize the use of uh, green energy, if we want to maximize industrial productivity, if we want to minimize uh, the use of waste, if we want to minimize power consumption uh, in networks and in the industries of this uh, world. So these two goals absolutely support each other.